Hi. Um, <clears throat> I'm not feeling very good, but I was just sitting here eating lunch and watching uh, another YouTube vlogger. I never watched her before. I don't actually remember her name. Sorry. Um, anyway, she did like a week in the life. And once upon a time, I tried to do that when it was my birthday week earlier this year. And it was such a fail. But I think I could try it again. This week should be interesting and normal, if that makes sense. My kids are kind of in school and we have our morning routine, which would be fun to show you a little bit of. And at the end of the week, I'm going to New York City, which I was just there a couple of weeks ago, but I didn't film really very much at all on my last trip, which was a great trip and I should have filmed much more, but I just really enjoyed myself and I didn't, I wasn't in the mood to film. So I can take you with me this time. Okay, so today is Monday. Monday. We'll put that on the screen. And it's already two o'clock in the afternoon. So I've been, I've had a lot of meetings this morning. Um, I feel like I'm getting back into the rhythm here. So let me tell you what's on the docket for this week. Work. Obviously I work full time every day for my job at Sesame which is a fun job, special job, but I work from home and I work from my home studio office. Occasionally the couch downstairs when I'm doing a lot of writing, I prefer actually to sit on the couch. Anyway, <clears throat> I'm flying now on Thursday, early morning. And then my kids are in school. We go to the park every day, we take a walk. That's really fun. And I can show you some of that. You guys, look at this studio space. It is so messy in here. <laughs> so, over here, I've got a bucket of trash. <laughs> um, I have spent some time sanding. I have uh, one of the projects that I do think I will continue to work on. Um, last year, oh, there's one right here. Last year, I made a handful of ornaments, hand painted ceramic ornaments that were just for friends and family, and um, they were really pretty, and I enjoyed painting them a lot. They came with like a stamp with a label on them, like ink. So I tried multiple ways to get the ink off, and the best solution was this foam nail file. <laughs> so I owe myself a new nail file, but this worked super well. So I did spend some time during my meetings this morning sanding <laughs> ornaments while I was listening. And I'm glad that, that is done. So that's what I have over here, a pile of trash and some ornaments. I have over here, just like buckets of pens and pencils. I did a little crafty thing for a friend's baby shower. That was on Saturday, this past Saturday. So I did some crafty kind of things and I got all kinds of stuff out of my supply closet and I just didn't put anything back in. So over here, you know, there's just like a bucket of stuff, just buckets. And then like all of these, there's some random art. There's some more ornaments. There's some artworks because I was going to maybe take the frame from one of them, but then I decided not to. And then over here, it's just like a disaster. Like, look at this. This is no way to live, guys. I've got paint palettes from workshops. I've got random stuff. I've got this work in progress that is, you know, something something different. I had the idea that maybe I would do some fruit paintings and you know, I don't know. It's confusing to me. I enjoy, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's happening anyway, but I've got like, this is chaos. I've got books under here. I've got watercolor paints. 
I've got some works in progress that I just sort of stashed over here. It's not good. It's not good. It's too much. It's chaos. Pretty crazy. So I need to get things together. So hopefully that will happen sometime this week. Not today. Today is not the day. But anyway, come spend a week with me. That's the whole point of this is spend a week with me. Out today was the day I did did a little cleanup. It's not great. It's not perfect. Certainly not any improved systems to keep it from getting crazy, but it's better. I've got ornaments here because I'm going to be working on them at this table probably. We've got my paint stuff and all works in progress there. You know, just ignore the
So this morning was a disaster. Not really. It was fine. It was just mayhem because I woke up late, completely just snoozed. I must have snoozed for two hours straight. I did. Literally snoozed for two hours straight. So clearly a little tired. Um, anyway, so I didn't film anything on our morning routine and our walk and stuff because it was really crazy. It was just like, we gotta make lunches, we gotta get dressed, we gotta brush teeth, we gotta do all the things. We gotta go. We gotta go. And we did it. Got to school on time. Patchy skinned his knee at the playground, which was sad. He was sad. He was sad. He was a big sad. And it did bleed, and I didn't have any band-aids. So tomorrow I'm going to pack some band-aids for the wagon so that, yeah, it would have helped to have a band-aid. But now I'm home. I have a meeting in 15 minutes. I've got my coffee, my little homemade latte, and my beautiful um, Addis Ceramics. I don't know if that's actually how you say it, but she's based in Tulsa, and she has a collection out right now with Madewell, which is pretty cool. And in my, her, I don't know if this is like her signature kind of style, but like these scalloped cups are so pretty. And her color selections are just like dreamy. So I'm gonna enjoy this and then get to work. Sorry, I'm trying to turn out of my neighborhood and there's like a lot of traffic. Okay, so I've rallied. I have showered, eaten some dinner, done the dishes, switched the laundry. No exercise, no stretching. But I am going to this writer's thing. Only my second one to go to, and um, I'm looking forward to it. The last one I went to was really great. I learned a lot. I basically learned how to pitch, put a pitch together, a strong pitch for my children's book um, that I've been working on called Waffle Time. I did pitch the book to a handful of publishers and an agent just this past month. So I feel like that was a really useful meeting. I learned a lot, very eye-opening. I am eager for tonight because it's an illustration focus and I'm sure I'm gonna learn a lot. So let's work on that. Angry ducks. See? Yeah. Okay. But I won't fall in on this. Bubba, don't stand on that part. You can you can look over, but don't put your feet up there. I won't fall in. You might fall in. What? It would be easy for you to fall in right there. What? Jack, you heard me. 
Yum! It's for you. Right there. Yeah. Right there. Mm -hmm. Right there. Oh, and maybe it's still hungry. It's that hungry. Ah! It's done! Say good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's Wednesday. Good morning. It is Wednesday. We're in the drop-off line. We're in the drop-off line. Second drop-off line of the day. We have already taken a walk. We have, what did we do today? Feed the duckies. We fed the ducks with bread. And we scared the ducks away with sticks. <laughs> And then we fed the turtles, and then we went on a walk, and then we made a new playground, mom friend. I think there's some potential there. It's really hard to establish mom friends when you're at a playground with your kids going all different directions and kind of like being unsafe and stuff, but she's, she goes twice a week and I'm there every day, so mom friend coming up. <laughs> you know, it's the little things when you're a grown up. Anyway, so now we're going to do drop off and then I'm going to work outside of the house. So I need to put a little bit of makeup on and change my shirt and need a friend to do some work not in my house and then tomorrow I leave for New York, so today I've got to do a lot of like laundry and cleaning and groceries to make sure the boys are successful for the next few days. Okay, teachers are coming out, so we'll see you later. Hi. I forgot to take you in with me, but I'm leaving now from the collaborative coffee. Fave in Tulsa here. Uh, it's just a really nice environment, although it was very cold in there today. Um, I should have sat outside, it's pretty nice. Anyway, had a little coffee chat with my friend Kristen, had several meetings, learned about our YouTube strategy uh, for my job, so that was interesting. And got my wheels turned in with some ideas. Don't know where my car is. Hold on. afternoon doing well I spent a little time so I got here got to the hotel tried to check in couldn't check in and then I decided to get some lunch which was delicious I was very hungry so I went to breads and had a salad and it was great as usual and then I went to the Art Students League um, art store for my artist date, um, which is part of the book that I started. What's it called? The Artist Way. So she says you have to do your morning pages and then you're supposed to take yourself on a weekly artist date, which shouldn't be like always spending money, but I. <laughs> 
you know, I did. I did spend some money. Um, but I got some things and I'll do like a little haul later. And I did ask about the drop-in classes tonight and I do hope that I can make it. Um, but I do have this meeting, which is unfortunately scheduled for 4 p.m., which is just a terrible time for a meeting. So the class starts at 5 or 5.05. So I'd have to be there at like 4.45 and it's probably a 15 minute walk. So I doubt that I will make it in time, um, but that's okay because I went in and I have been like, obviously on my last trip I tried to go and I tried to take a class and they were closed for like summer clean out, post summer clean out. So, it was super sad. So I am proud of myself for just going in and talking to some people and like asking about art supplies and asking like how to sign up for a class and like going into the office. So I'm proud of myself for making that step. I did it. I went in and I bought a whole bunch of things. <laughs> You're welcome. And I think I might I might even maybe take a class. I don't know. What do you think? Should I do it? Should I try? I don't know. I'm really nervous about it, but I have all day to decide. And then I perched at, I the word perch, apparently. I went to Joe's Joe Coffee and sat in the same spot that I sat in last time I was here uh, by the window so you can see everybody walking by and um, the tunes were really good in there today and I sat next to this nice guy who was uh, also eavesdropping as much as I was on the people coming in and out so we were kind of chuckling together at the funny conversations we were hearing so that's always fun to meet a fellow eavesdropper because <laughs> um, you know it was fun and the girls working there were really nice too. So it was actually just a very fun time, even though I was working a lot of admin stuff, like a lot of expense reports, which is like, oh, I hate expense reports. So I was doing that and um, that's what I've been doing. Okay, I gotta do this meeting. before I get all cozy, which I'm already cozy, but I wanted to give you like a haul from the Art Students League gift shop. I might have gone overboard, but everything was very reasonably priced. You could tell it was like for students who don't have any money. <laughs> so things were really well priced. Like this book was $8. So, you know, duh, I'm gonna buy it. Um, so this is one of the first things I got. This is uh, John Singer Sargent's portrait drawings. There's 42 works in here. Um, I love Sargent's work. His use of color is so beautiful, but also like, wow, 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 wow. And there are some similar ones that I think are really wonderful too, like these, like dreamy. And then I got Bridgman's Life Drawing by George P. George B. Bridgman. So um, I did look through pretty much all of the figurative drawing books they had available. I really don't know much about figurative drawing. I did it of the bare minimum in high school. Anyway, I find it very intimidating. I did not make it to the class that I had kind of hoped to go to, but I 
didn't get out of my gate until like 740 or 440. So wasn't going to make it to the class. But in kind of preparation or like mental preparation for eventually I'm going to get to one of those classes, I thought it would be helpful to kind of, I don't know, have a basis of what to kind of be looking for um, from like a model or, you know, somebody standing in front of me. This is the other one I got. It's called uh, Perspective Maybe Easy. I <clears throat> have a very vague memories of doing perspective work in high school again. And I feel like I can do like one and two point perspective decently well, but I think it's always good to have a refresher and a reference. So um, I picked this up. It seems like it has some good exercises and kind of examples. So I got like a kind of a cheapo, just a Canson sketchbook. Um, but it does have a nice like fabric cover and a nice band. And then I got these other two that are just cute. I don't know, they're weird and cute. Um, this one like, has a cardboard cover, so maybe I'll like put something on it, but I loved the yellow spine and I really like this paper that's in here. It's very smooth and it's, you can't tell on camera in the light, but it's like a creamer, like creamier, warm toned white paper, um, which I have grown accustomed to from the um, printmaking paper that I've been painting on. It's got a warm tone and I just really like that. And then I got just this little skinny one and I don't know if the paper is warm tone or not. I can't quite tell here. I don't remember. But I thought this would be nice to have just like for in my purse. Like it's very small. And again, the paper is really creamy. I did intend to draw at dinner tonight and then I forgot <laughs> my pencils that I bought. I forgot the pencils. I forgot a pen even. So I borrowed a pen from the restaurant and then by the time I did that, I didn't actually draw anything, but I did make some notes about what I was doing <laughs> and the things that I found amusing. And I took some pictures that I will plan to like sketch from. And then these are the pencils I got. And I also got an eraser. These are the pencils I got. Um, they are uh, these. They're like soft. I don't know exactly what they are. I was looking for like a sepia tone, brown toned pencil, which is what these are. And these are different. This one's dark sepia and light sepia. And then I got just a classic um, Faber-Castell sketching pencil. Sorry, you can't see that at all. So, um, this is a 5B, so it's not like super hard, not super soft. And then this one is called Ponte Aperi. It's also a sepia color. It's thicker. And I heard of the term Conte crayon. I don't know if that's this, what this is, but I like the way it writes. It's kind of like a colored pencil, but it seems heavier. And it's also like very thick. So TV. And then this is a pastel pencil and it's more like a pink tone, pink mauve tone. I just really liked the color. It's very, very soft. So maybe I can do some shading. I don't know. I probably should have gotten a couple of colors in, in these kinds, but we'll just see. I don't know. I like the color. I got one. And then I got an eraser and that's it. 
Anyway, so now I'm going to stick with my evening New York routine, ritual, which is, I don't have a TV in my bedroom at home, but at a hotel you have a TV in your bedroom, in, in the room, and I like to watch like a, you know, a TV drama, like a CSI, like a NCIS, like a Law and Order is like not my favorite, but like one of Bones, you know, like a weird TV crime drama is what I typically like to turn on at a hotel. <laughs> so I'm going to do that and I'm going to keep working on some cleaning up. Um, I've been, clean I've been working on, if you can see, no, uh, no, can't see. Anyway, I've been working on cleaning up some scans of my original artwork and I'm going to try to make a few patterns that I can use for wrapping paper for the holidays. So I really need to get that finished, these designs finished ASAP because the holidays are quickly approaching and with printing time and stuff, I need to get that done. So that's what I'm going to do and I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, everybody say hi. 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 I'm at work. These are my work friends. Hi. Work <laughs> friends. <laughs> say hi, Michael. <laughs> everybody say hi to my vlog, my vlog oh, channel. Hi. hi. Who's that? It's my vlog. So oh, you can be my vlog. Hi. Hi, 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 Internet. Hi, Internet. Oh, amazing. We're doing a puzzle. They're doing a puzzle. This is Joanna. She's a model. Can't you tell? She's like gorgeous. There's Nishida. Okay, bye. This is Joanna. Okay, Joanna. Um, you should show us your model walk. My your model walk. <laughs> Don't follow me. Yeah. Love it. Thank you. <laughs> Instagram famous, <laughs> or not Instagram, blog famous. Okay, good morning. It is Saturday, it's my last day in New York. Don't really have a day in New York. I basically just woke up took a shower, packed, I'm gonna go to the airport, have a little coffee, and I'm really tired. I did go out for happy hour with my colleagues and it was very fun, but I probably had like one too many cocktails. <laughs> the last one I think was like, ooh, now I'm feeling old and not great. So anyway, um, that's a wrap. Oh, look, you can see me in the mirror. <laughs> anyway, that's a wrap on New York. It is nice. And I am ready to be home to my boys. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.